Hello, back again, and uh, we're tasting another red today. Um, very well-known producer, one of the great um, names in the Northern Rhone, Delas, uh, which Delas is probably more recognized for their Negociant wines than anything else, so uh, wines that are made on a larger uh, production scale, typically, um, that are outsourced from other growers. But what we have here is, uh, this is truly the real McCoy. This is uh, Domaine de Grand Chemin, indicating it's one of their estate properties and it is uh, bottled on the estate. And this comes from Croix Hermitage, 2010. 100% Syrah, comes in at 13% alcohol. And uh, the importer, they have more than one US importer, but this is uh, Masson Marquez uh, out of Oakland. This is a wine I had the opportunity to taste uh, within the last two or three months. In 2010, obviously uh, a fairly mature wine. Uh, it's had some nice bottle time and uh, I expect great things from this. I've always, uh, this has been a pleasure to taste in the past. Definitely one of the best, if not the best, De Las wine I've personally tasted. This has got unbelievably intense uh, smoked meat character. And if you've never encountered that in a wine, this is, this is exhibit A. Just come check this wine out. Uh, because at $27, uh, you can really get your quintessential uh, Northern Rhone character. Now, Croze Hermitage is not one of the more famous uh, appellation in the Northern Rhone. It's a much larger appellation, um, somewhat analogous to maybe our Sonoma Coast appellation here in California. A bit hard to define in terms of terroir and geography, but there are some very special vineyards certainly within the Croze Hermitage that, uh, as we like to say, over deliver or uh, outperform a lot of their, their contemporaries in terms of just the quality of the wine and, and the the tremendous authenticity. Um, this wine right off the bat has tremendous freshness. Now it does have that savory smoky meat character. When I say smoky meat, I mean smoky meat. This literally smells like salami and black pepper. <laughs> but it also has, it's got that tremendous floral character. A lot of violets. I am getting sort of a, almost like a mocha cassis, like creme de cassis uh, kind of character to it. So it has some nice kind of richness and um, a bit of lushness to it. Very kind of black fruited nose. That's good in the world. Yeah, no surprises there. Um, yeah, the palate very much confirms the, the nose. Um, savory, smoky meats, but, uh, but really, really developed fruit. I mean, this is 13% alcohol, um, but there is absolutely no greenness to this at all. I'm not getting any sort of uh, uh, underripe uh, phenolics or uh, green tannins, I'm not tasting stems, it's just, it, the fruit is just luscious, it just fills out your palate, tremendous viscosity. You're going to be tasting this wine for well over a minute after after the finish, I mean it has tremendous complexity. Very focused on the palate too, Syrah often can be um, a higher pH wine, doesn't have tremendous acidity and cut a lot of times, but this wine, and even after six, seven years in bottles, still has that cut and that focus to it, so this is a tremendous food wine. You know, lamb, game meat would be great, obviously. Um, but I could see this being, because it has a sense of delicacy to it, I think you could, this is a much more versatile wine than, than I think you might imagine. Um, mature, evolved, but I would give this easily another five years. Uh, it'll be drinking at sort of that, within that peak window, but yeah, tremendous black fruit character, but uh, nice spice, a lot of black pepper. Um, I am getting a bit, on the finish now, it's really starting to show up, sort of a sort of a fresh herb quality, for real, sort of rosemary, sage, but that smoky meat thing is going to keep coming back in waves. I mean, it's got a lot of that savory, uh, meaty character, but it's natural. None of that's coming from new oak or over extraction. I mean, it's just a very pretty wine that has tremendous purity to it. So $27.99 uh, for 2010 De Las Cours Hermitage. It's tremendous value, and supplies are definitely going to be short on this one. 